Hi guys, Cameron from Band Smile here again. Just wanting to talk to you a bit about um, places to retire in, to actually go and live in. Well, and this is going to be on my experience. When I first came to Thailand, I was visiting Phuket a lot and really loved the place. However, Phuket is a tourist in place. And, you know, after a while, after you've seen just about everything, or you think you've seen about everything, you've got to remember it's island living. And unless you're used to it, um, it can be very hard to take. I was fortunate I've lived on Christmas Island, and uh, which is much, much smaller than Phuket. But, um, no, it just wasn't for me to live in. Of course, I came to Bangkok, and then I visited a lot of other places, such as Yudontani, Yubon Rakanani, Karat, um, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. So I've been, you know, all over Thailand. And I thought I knew everything. But what I decided to do, after listening to many expats, was come to Bangkok and set myself up for at least 12 months, maybe 18 months, and do a lot of traveling. You can travel cheap by train or bus to different places. And, you know, Bangkok is the heart of where all travel is. So I used, I've taken the train to Chiang Mai, I've taken buses to Chiang Rai, uh, buses to Yudon Thani, Karat, and Pattaya. I found that Pattaya, while, you know, a wonderful town for for lungs and has a wonderful cultural side of Thailand outside of the um, tourist area was very nice but for me it just wasn't right um, Thailand is beautiful everywhere don't get me wrong I love it the people are lovely everybody is just so friendly and so nice and they they all love their little provinces or areas and most of all they want you to love Thailand so it's it is wonderful but I while enjoy visiting Pattaya I didn't really feel comfortable there so once again back to Bangkok looking around the different suburbs of Bangkok having a good time meeting people visiting people uh, then took the train to Chiang Mai uh, which was very, very nice. I took the um, second class because uh, we took the day train, the morning train, went up. I didn't really need a bed night. It, it, was, it was very good. I enjoyed it. Um, coming back, we did the same thing. That is, that is, there is a huge expat Australian community up there. Um, I am told that that is the largest uh, Australian community in Thailand is in Chiang Mai and I understand why because it's the area is very nice it's mountainous the views are just amazing but once again I just wasn't that excited about it I mean I've, I've been to those places you know and the night markets are, are fantastic as well but I've been to those places and I've I've had good times but I just felt oh yeah okay uh, Chiang Rai, well, once again, the views, what can I say? Uh, Yudontani, lovely people, wonderful people up north, but it reminded me of sugarcane country, very dry it looked up there, so I wasn't, for me, I just wasn't that impressed with it. So moving along, um, by this time, um, Nookie and I had come together, and Nookie has family everywhere. I mean, when we went to Phuket together, she had family there. So they showed me areas that I'd not seen before. And I thought I'd seen everything of Phuket. But I still didn't really want to live there. Um, we went, and, and other places as well, Yudon Tani, Yubon Rakanani, Karat. She's got, she's got family everywhere. And that was nice because they, they take the time out to show you to show you the different aspects of the place and places that are off the beaten track, which is lovely. However, as chance might happen, 
uh, we went to a little province called Nan. Well, little, I mean, it's, it's considered a city and, and the area is quite big. And it's beautiful. They mine salt up in the mountains, which, wow, that's fantastic to see. Uh, beautiful parks and rivers to swim in. Off the beaten track, not a lot of people around. Um, the eating out is cheap. I mean, you know, we went out with uh, six people each. I mean, a very good spread of food. Very, very nice. And it was just under 2,000 baht. You know, I, I, I can't complain at all, really. I thought it was quite good. Excellent, actually. Uh, the people are friendly. Uh, most do speak English, and you'll find that in Thailand. Most do speak English, uh, various levels of it, uh, everywhere. So I enjoyed Nan, and um, the views are fantastic. Um, saw fog for the first time. I was just there at the right time of year. I mean, I've been told in Chiang Rai you'll see fog as well, but. It gets very cold up in the mountains. So, beautiful, beautiful place. So that's where we're looking at maybe moving to. Um, the fam family's there, which is good for Nookie. You know, for me, I'm an Aussie. We can go anywhere. We can live anywhere. So that's what we're looking at. One other place I didn't, I forgot to mention was Wahin. Wahin's very, very nice, very coastal. Um, it used to be where the king would uh, have his holidays. It, it, the people are lovely, once again. Um, and for a long time, it was off the Falang's radar, however. And the Thais tried to keep it a secret, however. Uh, something that good, it, the information does get out. And it is worth seeing. For me, well... As a matter of fact, it was the one place where Nookie didn't have family. But for me, it just wasn't somewhere where I wanted to live permanently. Lovely to visit, lovely to holiday in, um, but not for me. So, guys, like I said before, Band Smile is here to help. Help you find accommodation. You need information about areas. They're the people to ask. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and sub subscription button. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now. What are you waiting for? 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 Yes, correct. What are you waiting for? The world may not be in a great shape right now, but it's very possible to come to Thailand. It's actually easier to live in Thailand for a longer time than it was before. With Fun Smile can get you the right long-term visa, find a perfect house, open the local bank account, or even open the business here. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or go to bansmile.com and get started.